Hey guys, there's something I want to show you in this video and this is going to be very helpful to you if you advertise your business on Google, particularly if you run adverts on YouTube. As you know, when you advertise your business on YouTube, definitely you want people to view your videos and when they view the videos, they eventually click on the link in that video and they visit your landing page to complete whatever action you want them to complete on your landing page. And in that situation, you expect a lot of views on that videos more than the numbers of clicks you get. To your landing page however it is also possible for you to get higher numbers of clicks on that particular campaign more than the numbers of views you get on your video so if that happens what exactly is the reason and how are you going to be able to know what is going on with your ad instead of you thinking that maybe you are getting fraudulent clicks on your advertisement so that is exactly what i want to show you in this video and we are going to be doing it together so right now in this google as i can i want to go straight to the campaign so when I click on the campaign, I have two active campaign at the moment. So the first campaign is channel engagement, which I use to drive subscriptions to my YouTube channel. So I actually have a course about this. So if you want to go ahead and use advertisement to drive subscription to your channel, you can go ahead and check that course on my website or justwebacademy.com. So the second campaign here is the real estate webinar campaign. So I have these two campaigns active at the moment. So we are going to look at the second campaign, which is the real estate webinar campaign so before i go ahead and click on that campaign look at the metrics in front of this campaign so you can see here we have 125 clicks for this particular campaign and if you go ahead and look at the data and you realize that i'm actually checking the data for today which is 21st of uh, november 2023 so that is the data for today we have 125 clicks on this particular campaign it's not recording any conversion yet however we already got some conversions on the webinar website so that is exactly what i want to show you so why are we getting more clicks and it's not recording any conversion so let's go ahead and look at more metrics for this particular campaign now if you go to the right hand side a little bit you realize that we're having 125 clicks here but we're having 74 views on this particular campaign but this campaign is also a youtube campaign so why is it possible for me to get higher numbers of clicks than the numbers of views i get in that particular advertisement is it that maybe some users are clicking the advert multiple times that might be the things you're thinking of but that is not the exact reason why we're getting more clicks in this particular campaign so right now we're going to look at the exact reason why we're getting more clicks in this campaign than the numbers of view we are getting on the video so if i go ahead and click on the campaign right now and i go to the campaign settings so from the campaign settings if i look at the network then i want to see exactly what is happening there so you can see this is the network under the campaign settings so if i click on this network you see we have the adverts showing on youtube and then there's option for google tv that is actually for people in the us but i'm not in the us i'm in nigeria so this is not available to us in nigeria at this time so the next one we have the google partner so and these partners are actually video partners on the display network but unfortunately when you move your mouse toward this particular area you will not be able to select or you will not be able to unselect this particular option ideally if you're advertising uh, or your, your video on youtube you probably want to remove this google partners from your advertisement targeting but because some of the settings you configure for this particular campaign will not allow you to do that so what exactly is that setting that will not allow you to remove this particular configuration from that campaign the exact setting that is preventing you from excluding google partners website from serving your youtube advertisement is the fact that your goal has been configured in the sense that your advert can be delivered across every platform in the network so that is why you cannot select this so for this particular campaign the goal for the campaign is lead generation and if you look at it right now on this particular marketing objective i choose lead generation and it is not possible for me to change that particular objective so that objective is exactly why the options available to me here cannot be unselected so the campaign will run on youtube and also on google partner site that is a video partner website on the display network so that is why if you are creating the youtube advertisement the advert can start showing on blogs that are partnered 
to YouTube advertisement. And then when this advert shows on those platforms, they can get click without any kind of views on your video. So that is the exact reason why you likely be saying more clicks from your YouTube advertisement than the numbers of views on your video. So if you are running this different type of advertisement whereby you are not selecting a, a lead generation or maybe sales as your objective, then you have more flexibility on how you can select whether you want your advert to show on the Google Partner website or not. So if you are able to select that, then you can be able to exclude this particular option from your advertisement. So if you exclude this option, then you should be expecting to get higher views than the numbers of clicks you get to your website. So that is exactly what is happening in this particular campaign. So now that we understand exactly why we are getting more clicks than the numbers of views on our videos for YouTube campaign. So how are we going to see exactly where the advert are showing and see if this particular places that the adverts are showing are giving us the best result or not. If they are not giving us the best result, definitely we want to exclude those placements from the advertisement. So right now, I will go straight to the ad group here. So when I click on the ad group, I have two active ad groups in this particular campaign. So the first one is the lad webinar portrait and the second one is the last cave. So if I look at the right hand side, I see the metrics here, the view. The first one actually has the more views, which is a 66 view and then 15 clicks. Whereas the second one has just eight views and 110 clicks. So this is very, very funny. So right now we're going to look at the second one that has more clicks than the numbers of views. So we click on that. And then when I click on that, I will go straight to the placement, which is under the content group in the left menu on your dashboard. So this is the left menu. This is content. Then I click on that. Then it opens the topic, the first thing there. Then I'll go to the bottom a little bit. I will see where ads shows. So I click on where ads show, then I want to start looking at where the ads are showing. And then I want to see where I'm wasting my money and I can go ahead and exclude those placement from this particular advertisement. So right now I can see the first one here is feed news. What is feed news? Let's go ahead and open this feed news on a new tab and see if it's going to be something that we want to target or not. So let's go ahead and open a new tab. I'm very new to this MacBook, so pardon me if I'm not used to how to open a, a, a link in new tab. So I'm going to enter it here. Okay, command V. So let's enter and see what is happening on that particular website. So feed news, opera news. I don't want my advert to show on this particular website. So let's go ahead and look at the metrics again. So what do we get from this particular placement? We have gotten 321 impressions in this particular placement three views and we got 108 clicks you can see this is where we got the most clicks that are not even relevant to what we are looking for so what do i do next i'm going to exclude this directly from this particular campaign so i'll go ahead and click on that right now i select it then i click on this edit button there and i want to exclude it so i have two options either i want to exclude it from the ad group or i want to exclude it from the campaign so by the way it is possible for you to have multiple ad groups in your campaign so if you have let's say you have 10 ad groups in the same campaign and then you realize that a particular placement is wasting your money without giving you any result then you want to exclude that placement it might be better for you to exclude that particular placement from the entire campaign instead of doing that for the ad group because if you do that for the ad group the rest of the ad group can still continue to serve your advert in that particular website so i'll go ahead and select the second option exclude from campaign so when i do that this particular placement will be excluded from the campaign and then subsequently my advert will not be showing in that particular placement so i can go ahead and look at other placements available in this particular uh, uh, screen you can see i have a uh, myjobmag.com so i can go ahead and start looking i can even go ahead and use filter so let's look at um, placement okay placement contains dot Let's look at placementcontents.com and see if we are going to get any result. You can see here, we have a lot of them here. If I select all, you see, we have nine selected. Now, it's possible we have .net, .org, .ng, etc., etc. So, you can go ahead and use the filter 
to be able to exclude all of these placements that are just wasting your money without giving you the desired result from your advertisement. So this is one of the ways you can go ahead and review your YouTube campaign so that you don't go ahead and waste your money without getting any result from the campaign. By the way, if your advert is showing only on YouTube, you have no reason to be excluding website except there are some channels or maybe there are some videos you want to exclude your ads from showing on so that is also possible but that is not what we are doing on this particular video so this particular one is to show you how you can get more clicks than the number of views you get on your youtube advertisement and what you can do if that is happening and this is definitely going to help you to get better results from your youtube advertisement i hope you learned something in this particular video if you have any question about it go ahead and drop your question in the comment section and i will address every single question by the way i also have a full video course on youtube advertisement that is youtube advertising mastery it's a massive training course that reveals everything from the beginning to the end of youtube advertisement and if you are new to youtube or you are experienced or you just want to brush yourself up with youtube advertisement i will recommend you take that course and it's going to be very very helpful in your career or in your journey to becoming a youtube advertising Pro. So go ahead and look at that course on my website www.ojaswebacademy.com. So once again, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Bye for now.